What up, guys? It's your boy T Dub. What's plays in the sports? Why are we not clear? Let's make sure we are. Guys, uh, welcome to the show. This is your boy T Dub. Guys, listen. Tyson Fury just knocked the rust off, or did he, guys, after being out of the sport of boxing, at least competing over a thousand, got thousand days. Guys, please comment below and let me know what you think about this, guys. As you come into this live, live post-fight chat, please hit the like button and forget, don't forget to subscribe. Tyson Fury versus Safari. Well, I don't know, guys. Uh, the first couple rounds, it didn't look like anyone wanted to hurt the other. But, guys, this fight did not start off like a lot of fights that start off with the hatred. The Mike Tyson dead stare. No! This fight started off with a little romance. Everything but... Holding hands. Guys, yes, that is right. Tyson Fury and Safari started this off with a kiss. Yes, I said it. Guys, what did you think about that, guys? Listen, in boxing history, that might be top. I think that's top one kiss of all time. Because uh, when Tyson Fury reached down to kiss... Safari. Safari reached up and kissed Tyson Fury. Guys, listen. This was no forehead kiss. This was lip on lip action. Guys, wow. Comment below and let me know. Will the Magic Man says salute blazing. I was very disappointed um, with the with the with that force. Uh, um, I am wondering if Fury can rely uh, can really make it all the way back after watching that shit. <laughs> uh, look, man. The first round of the fight, guys. I'm going to give you the guys the full fight breakdown. The first round of the fight. Neither fighter did anything. There was a lot of taunting. There was a lot of hands showing. There was a lot of foot moving. But nobody did absolutely nothing, guys. Every now and then, Tyson Fury would flicker a couple jabs. I believe at the very end of the round, he threw maybe a quick one, two, guys. And then in the second round, the second round, guys, listen, I'm just saying, guys, the second round was, was so little action, so little activity that Tyson Fury had time to stop boxing and watch an outside fight that had more action than the inside fight of the ring. Guys, this is your boy T Dub with Plays on the Sports. We are here live, guys. Listen, we are back making it do what it do. You know, slapping another hater across the face. You guessed it, with a bologna sandwich. Tyson Fury has a way to go, guys. If I was Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua right now, they will be like, yes, <laughs> please, try to, I want to fight him next. They would definitely love to catch Tyson Fury right now, guys. But to be honest, I think Tyson Fury needs at least two or three more fights before even being considered. The thing about this fight right here, guys, we didn't even see enough. It started off with a kiss. How many fights do you know where both fighters want to tear the head off the other fighter? Starts out with a romantic kiss. And guys... The kiss from these two guys, it did not seem like it's the first time it happened in those guys' life. Neither fighter wiped the kiss off. Neither fighter. Tyson Fury reached down and kissed him. Safari reached up and kissed him. Neither fighter wiped the kiss off. Wow, guys, it's crazy. But the third round, Tyson Fury tried to go get the guy. See, and the thing is, we didn't get the best out of Tyson Fury in this fight. Do I believe Tyson Fury is back? No. Do I believe he could have done better in this fight? Yes. The reason he did, he wasn't able to do better is because he had an opponent that wanted zero action. He had an opponent 
that was only trying to move around the ring and come in with some stupid wild overhand rights that that landed sometimes but didn't land sometimes. And I'm going to tell you right now, where Safari went wrong is, the thing he did wrong is when he got inside the taller fighter, he held him. He was holding Tyson Fury. And if you are the shorter on fighter, you are a cruiserweight typically, why are you not working inside? The thing that Tyson Fury had going for him was the uppercut and that right hand when he threw it. But once the fight went in the inside, that should have been a safari fight. What the hell was he doing? To be honest, based off the way he fought and he was not hurt in that fight and he did not come out for the fifth round, I would think he got paid. And I'm not just talking about the purse to fight. I would think he was got paid to say, listen, this fight needs to go at least four rounds. And after that, you can choose to get knocked out or whatever you want to do. Because he wasn't hurt. There wasn't enough punches thrown in the fight for him to be hurt. So, which is why Tyson Fury was in his hometown. And when Safari did not come out, he got booze. And, and like I said, guys, uh, Tyson Fury needs a minimum, a bare minimum of two more fights, maybe three, before fights fighting like Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua. You best to believe Anthony Joshua is watching this fight. You best to believe Deontay Wilder was watching this fight. And both of those fighters will love to fight Provecan and Dominique Breeze, Brazil, get those over with, and immediately come out to Tyson Fury. And if I was Tyson Fury, um, I would not. And the thing about it, guys, you can tell that this is not the same Tyson Fury that um, left the ring. Um, I, I do think he's going to get better. I think Tyson Fury is going to get better. I don't know how much he's going to get better. Um, but he definitely has a long way to go. Definitely has some trimming down to do. And um, so far, he could have made it more interesting, but he did not. It, it, it really, it really seemed like the only game plan with them guys was was to back up, back up, back up, and try to sucker Tyson Fury into a right hand. And I, honestly, I, I think so far, he put up a piss poor effort. Uh, by him only having one loss with this performance that he just put on right now, uh, to be honest, I'm surprised he doesn't have more. Which is why I believe he was paid a purse for this fight, and he was paid a purse to not really hurt Tyson Fury, but yet not go all 12 rounds. Remember, this is your boy T. Dell with Players in the Sports. You are more than welcome to let me know what do you think about this fight and I'm gonna tell you this guys doing a post fight interview they interviewed Tyson Fury uh, uh, manager I believe his manager it might be his promotional company I'm not a hundred I think it's a promotional company um, they pretty much admitted that um, he needs a couple more fights and even guys and it's so surprising with the Deontay Wilder and, and Anthony Joshua, everyone knows now that that Joshua doesn't want to fight Wilder next. Even this guy says the basically the 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 the, the known secret that Joshua is fighting for back in next, and that's crazy. To me, that is seriously crazy that the people would allow it. Real Magic Man says uh, he needs to get better. He looked in terrible. He looked terrible in there. Yes, he looked terrible, and his shape, even at the weigh-in, didn't really look that good. He weighed over 19-plus stones, while the other guy, who was a cruiserweight, weighed around 15 stones. Um, he still ain't got to rush. He still ain't has to rush thing, has he? No, he don't have to rush it. He should not rush it at all, because if he rushed it, he would rush himself into getting his first <clears throat> professional defeat. 
he definitely should fight at least three or four more times. The thing about him, he said something like he would be champion by the end of the year. We all know that's not going to happen. Um, maybe he meant by the end of 2019 because definitely not this year. Um, he said he won't be fighting any of the top guys until at least 2020. That is way more accurate. He should honestly uh, maybe fight one more time this year if he can get two in, whatever. But he need not to fight those guys until at least 2020. And at that time, we don't know how age is going to be a factor or any of those things. Uh, guys, uh, I'm going to get out of here <clears throat> losing my voice, and I want to save it for Terrence Crawford versus Jeff Horn. Again, it's your boy T-Dub. Do me a favor, guys. Please hit the like button and subscribe now. If you like 